Hi, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can set up your Samsung Galaxy S3 for the first time. So first I'm going to, go, I'm going to press on the power button on the side here to switch, out, switch on the Samsung Galaxy S3. And here it is, it is now switching on. So that is the logo on the startup when you're turning on the S3. The light down here quickly flash and here uh, you are present to select a language. So go down the list and select a language. Now you can see in this list I do not have a lot of options. Now this is depending on where you are getting your phone from. So I'm going to choose a language and then tap on next. You can also go into accessibility settings to uh, perform some uh, settings uh, regarding to accessibility. As you can see right here, you can uh, just skip and then I'm just going to tap on next and in here you have a chance to connect to a Wi-Fi so connect to a Wi-Fi that you want to use so I'm going to uh, put in the password and then I'm just going to tap on the connect button so I'm just tapping on the connect button to connect to a Wi-Fi network and then we're going to tap on next Next, you have a chance to sign in to a Samsung account. You can either sign in with an existing account, you can create a new account, or you can tap on the skip button at the bottom. So I'm going to tap on skip. Now again, you will have a chance to sign into your Google account. Uh, you will need to sign into your Google account sooner or later if you want to download any apps. So if you have an account, tap on yes, otherwise tap on no you will have a chance to uh, create one later on. So it's a here, get an account. If you don't want to do it right now, just tap on not now. And then tap on next. Now you can name your device. So I'm just gonna name my device and then tap on next. And then it's got um, Dropbox here. You've got a 50 gigabyte Dropbox account for two years. So if you want to use, you can uh, sign in to use it or you can uh, simply skip. And then this is the device name. So by default, it is your first and last name and then the model number, GTI 9300. You can change it if you want or just leave it by default. And then tap on done, tap on finish. And now I think we are at the home screen and I so said this is a tip. Flick the screen left or right to move to other screens. So uh, show us that if we swipe it across, we can uh, switch screens. So that's how you can uh, set up your uh, Samsung Galaxy S3. And that's it. So that's straightforward. After that, you can uh, uh, browse the web by launching a web browser. So google.com and here it's loading up uh, the page. Uh, at the moment it's not connecting to Wi-Fi. So I'm just going to see it's, it's got an authentication error. So it's not working with this um, Wi-Fi. So I'm going to go to a different uh, channel. And here we can uh, try it. So I do have an issue with this uh, device when I um, uh, load it with a different ROM, uh, Wi-Fi not seem to work and you can't seem to connect to Wi-Fi uh, on this device. And you can use everything else uh, as normal, per normal, that's the internet. And then you can uh, make phone call. After setup, you can uh, directly make a phone call. Uh, you can go into settings. So there's a lot of tips. Every now and then it shows up to show you how to use the device. Uh, you can use camera. Camera is not here by default, but if you tap on apps, and then if you tap on camera, you can use uh, camera. So that's the camera right there. And what else can you do? So you can pretty much um, use anything that you want. Emails, you can see this email. Uh, you've got messaging here. And that's um, messages. 
and if you want to go to emails, you tap on apps and then tap on email. And then from here, you can set up your email account. If you're using like Gmail services or Yahoo, you can download the apps. Here you can see you've got Gmail already installed on the phone, so you can straight away uh, use Gmail. Just have to sign in and you are good to go uh, with email. And if you need to sign in, uh, you can t swipe down and tap on the settings icon. So you can uh, go into accounts up here and then add account. And in add account, you can add in Google account. Adding in Google, Google account will allow you to use email, allow you to download apps from Play Store. So before you can download any apps from Play, Play Store, you need to, uh, to sign into your Google account. And that's it. That's how you can uh, set up your device uh, briefly. So there's a lot more settings that you can do depending on what you want to use with your phone. But this is the initial setup that allows you to quickly use your phone make, by making calls. And that's it. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, please subscribe to my channel for more videos.